To validate the previously parsed fields, we can use a custom regex pattern validation. Let's take, for example, the two fields, the full name and the date of birth of the patient. For example, the full name regex pattern like this. So this is for the full name, for the date of birth, let's take this one and removing of course the dashes since in the HL7 we don't have the dashes and we have the years digits side by side with the mount digits and the days digit. We have the full name. is the concatenation of the last name and the first name so let's drag the last name here concatenated with a space with the first name we have also the date of birth here let's declare the patterns full name pattern will be this one let's add the global flag same thing for the date of birth pattern so we can call a match function for a given string and it takes as a parameter the pattern and returns the same value of the field if it's matched otherwise it returns nil so let's do the check so we have the full name sorry dot match and it takes as parameter the full name pattern same thing for the date of birth Now, to check if the value returned by the match function if null or not, let's declare a function that do this check. We'll take, of course, value and it returns the test if the array of matches is not empty. Let's use this function directly in a log instruction. To is not new function. Same for date of birth. Let's save the changes. Deploy to run the function. Let's simulate by sending a custom message. Let's keep both full name and the date of birth valid process message we should see true true so it's correct for example let's update the date of birth and add a dash here so it will be an earned value
okay we can see here that the validation is working so the date of birth is not valid okay that's it for this video in the next video we see how to process these messages and insert data for example in the database Thank <music> you.